Thanks for staying with us on TV3. Time now for Mission. Mission is brought to you by Star Ghana with support from Danida, UK Aid and the EU. The road network in the Dafiama Bisi Isa district is gradually improving. In 2017, when Mission visited, there were no two communities linked by uh, a tarred road. Right now, now, for reports, the district now has five roads linked by a tarred road, and this is expected to improve healthcare delivery. Motorcycles, tricycles, bicycles, these are the major means of transport here. Poor road network means commercial vehicles do not ply here. Women are the worst affected. Pregnant women, when referred to other districts, had to go through this. For us, they sit uncomfortably, risking their lives. Reaching their destination depends on the grace of God or Allah. In some cases, lives were lost. When Mission visited in 2017, District authorities made commitments to improve the road network. Two years on, the district is beginning to see improvement. When we visited the Yama Busie Isa district in 2017, no two communities were linked by a tarred road. Today in 2019, five communities are linked by a tarred road. For district authorities, resources are what is needed for an improved road network. Again, for them, improved road network is a matter of time. Portions of the Wugu Isa Hain Road have been tarred. It is a real joy for residents. Though they have done a lot, yet they still need more because they have to link it uh, from Fien to Wugu and then from Kajipere to Wahabu or Tumu because this road serve for a lot of commercial activities. Most vehicles from Tumu pass by here to Burkina Faso and so forth. So if government is able to link these two areas, I think it will help to speed up a lot of commercial activities. For some, the improvement in economic activity is a plus for the district. It is refreshing to see that so far some work has been done from the Wogu Isa stretch and uh, it will open up the business hub over here. People will begin to troop in to engage in commercial activities and as we know, uh, this particular road itself has a very a commercial road for a lot of people to apply from here to Tumu and Tumu is also a maize bank as far as agriculture is concerned. People who are also using their ovens and other trotro drivers will also uh, benefit from this project because it will cut down the cost of repairs and uh, the cost of wear and tear of people's motorbikes as well as their vehicles. The district is still pursuing aggressive road network improvement in order to positively enhance health care. Bright Nananfo, TV3, Isa. Well, meanwhile, almost every structure needed to satisfy the requirements of a district hospital in the Dafiama Bisi Isa district is ready. The district two years ago used a health center as a district hospital. Again, Brad Nanamfo reports formal application to upgrade the health center into a district hospital has been completed. It was a bad land when Mission first visited in 2017. The situation is no longer the same. From ground zero two years ago, this is what authorities here at the Dafiema Busie Isa district have been able to do. Virtually every needed structure for a district hospital is either near completion or completed. Over 50,000 residents of this district will no longer have to go through the drudgery of traveling to Nadoli Kalio or the Wa Municipal in order to access health care. Isa, the district capital, a fast-growing community. This was the only health center in 2017. Accessing health care was a drudgery. Bumpy, 
dusty and pothole filled road. Transportation network that puts many lives at risk. Many stayed at home when referred. Your report actually um, made the assembly and all the stakeholders to pay some attention to the issues of healthcare in this district. And I know within the two years, a lot has happened. Structures are taking shape. Male and female wards, outpatient department, theater, a laboratory, a completed doctor's bungalow, and many others. In two years, the district has worked hard. Led by the district assembly, stakeholders looked up to a new district hospital. As I speak now, we already wrote to the Director General notifying his office that this facility, the Isa Health Centre, is being upgraded to a district hospital. So we are just left with the formal application process to National Health Insurance Authority. That is when all these facilities are uh, completed. My only fear has to do with the provision of equipment. And uh, that if I would ask for uh, support, that is the area I would seriously ask for support from the general public. The health directorate is getting ready to post staff to the new facility. The target is half year into 2020, and this can be done with determination and commitment. In the middle of 2020, I think with the commitment of the stakeholders, it is possible. By media 2020, the district is likely to get all regulators to come and assess the structures and all other procedures for the takeoff of a full district hospital. And residents of the district will no longer trek to other districts to access health care. The Dafirma Bushi Isa district is poised to see a new level in health care. Bright Nananfo, TV3, Isa. Well, and as always, mission gets the result. We'll be giving you more mission tomorrow. But that's it for tonight's mission was brought to you by Star Ghana with support from Danida, UK Aid and the EU.